It's limestone month and there is no better way to take a tour of the Indiana limestone than to look at Indiana University's campus. IU has one of the most beautiful campuses in the country and today we're going to take a one mile walking tour of some of the buildings that all came from Indiana limestone with Indiana limestone carvers. The tour was put together by the Indiana Geological Survey and visitbloomington.com. So this tour is published online and it has a walking tour map. So if you actually wanna walk it and look at the buildings yourself, you can do that. I am going to tell you the history of it straight from that tour and we are gonna get started, coming right up. I'm with the B-Town Realty team and I think that the history and the architecture of the Indiana University buildings is just awesome. So we are going to look at that and give you a little background on it. So let's talk about the history of the limestone. The architectural style seen on IU campuses reflect more than 100 years of bridging three centuries and most of the buildings have used the limestone. It's quarried here in Monroe County and it's referred to as buff limestone. It can be sawn or carved in any direction and has been used on many famous buildings throughout the United States, including the Pentagon, the National Cathedral, and the Empire State Building. Oh, and don't forget the Biltmore Estate where many movies have been made. So we're gonna be looking at the Gothic style, the Gothic Revival style, High Victorian Gothic, and Collegiate Gothic. And these are all reflected in different structures around the campus. So first up is Sample Gates. It's kind of traditional and modern styles. The Gothic styles with pointed arches and buttresses just make an appropriately beautiful entry into IU. Bryan Hall to the immediate south of the Sample Gates was named for the 10th president of the university. It was originally the administration building and it's an art deco style. It says administration over the west entrance and you can see the stylized owl high on the north side. Then we have Franklin Hall, which originally housed the university library. It has elements of both collegiate Gothic around the window treatments and the central and southwest wings and there were later additions to the east and the north sides of the building. Southwest Gable features the IU seal, and there is a quotation over the entryway that says, Good Book is the precious lifeblood of a master spirit, from John Milton. The attic of the West Wing was used by artisan residence T.C. Steele as a studio in the early 1900s. Next, we have the student building built in 1905, and it was originally intended for female students whose numbers had steadily increased during the early 1900s. The Romanesque revival style is evident from the use of round arches over the main windows, the clock tower, and the ornamental dormers in the central section. Note the interesting juxtaposition of rectangular shapes enclosing the round elements and the use of both rough and smooth surface textures. Fire in the attic in December 1990 completely destroyed the central clock tower. The tower was rebuilt using the original drawings complete with a new set of bells. Then we have Maxwell Hall, which was built in 1890. It originally housed the library until Franklin Hall was built later. It also once housed the law school. The Romanesque revival style is evident in its overall massive appearance with strong horizontal lines, with strong horizontal lines that blend into a rough texture and sod and tooled limestone courses, arches, and cavernous entry. You want to be sure and notice the carved leaf motif over the arches, including the serpent head left of the entry, with the little IU on it. Along the eaves and in two bounds around the building and columns with carved caps and ornamentation on the gables. You also want to notice the special bat-like creatures perched atop the two east gables. The two west gables have a ball and leaf motif. Then we have Owen Hall and Wiley Hall. The same architect designed both buildings. Two of the first buildings on the present day campus which had relocated from the original campus on 2nd Street. 
combination of Italianate and high Victorian Gothic styles. The low roof, entrance tower, flattened arches, and cornice are all features of Italianate style. And I probably didn't pronounce that right. They have polychrome brick and contrasting limestone to reflect the high Victorian Gothic. Third story of Owen was added in 1911 to provide space for the medical science program. Originally, Wiley had an entry tower like Owen, but the building was gutted by a fire in 1900 and the tower was not rebuilt. However, an additional floor was added at the time. The resulting is less ornate, though it retains features of both the Italianate and High Victorian Gothic styles. Then we have Kirkwood Hall, which was finished five years after Maxwell Hall and shares many of its Romanesque features, including alternating rock face and smooth limestone courses, round arches, and a massive appearance. A great deal of carved work adorns the building over doorways, around windows, and on the gables and towers. In addition, Kirkwood Hall has second empire elements, including large entry tower with a mansard roof and pilasters. Take time to subscribe to my channel so I can bring you more things about B-Town every week. Then we have Lindley Hall, which was built in 1903. Originally home to the biology department, Lindley Hall resembles Kirkwood Hall in overall plan and the use of rock face limestone. It has a much simpler design, only ornaments are the smooth pilasters between the upper story windows and the seemingly randomly placed projecting window sills, apparently used for growing plants. Another unique feature is a single course of greenish gray soft limestone below the first story windows. This limestone is not seen in any other building on campus. It's a fun fact. Swain Hall East, which was built in 1910, and Swain Hall West, which was built in 1940. Swain Hall East was originally called the Biology Building. Like Lindley Hall, it does not have a discernible style, but does have some Gothic elements and is the only other building on campus having projecting window sills for plants. Unlike Lindley, Swain East is ornamented with linear elements on the roof line and around the windows. Swain Hall West is in the collegiate Gothic style, featuring window treatments, square rosettes, and a carved fleur-de-lis over the main entrance. In 1957, the two buildings were joined and renamed. The one-story part of Swain West with large doors facing the law school is the site of the original cyclotron on campus. Next up is Rawls Hall, which was built in 1923. It's just east of Swain East. It's a collegiate Gothic style building with arched doorways and some arched windows, rosettes, medieval shields, and the IU seal. The limestone is laid in a broken rather than a regular ashlar pattern as shown by diagonal cuts to many of the stones. Myers Hall is next, built in 1937 and was built for the Department of Medicine. It has elements of art deco and collegiate Gothic styles. The overall design is a streamlined Gothic similar to the law school but with art deco ornaments. The south, south entry features a carved limestone frise between an autonomist, a pharmacologist, and a physiologist. Did I say that right? It's the work of Bedford stone carver, Harry Thomas Easton. To the right, note the stylized owl and the faces peering out from between the second story windows and the quotation from Hippocrates. The north side of the central tower displays art deco elements. Simon Hall, a multidisciplinary science building built in 2007. It's located between Myers Hall and Chemistry. Its style and exterior detail are very similar to Myers Hall in what is referred to as the art modern version of collegiate Gothic and allows this very high tech building to blend in with the historic part of campus. We have Jordan Hall, which was built in 1954. It's the home of the biology department. It's unadorned collegiate Gothic with a pointed arch and Gothic windows above the main entrance. Just below the roof line over the entry is a carving of a microscope and chemical equipment. At the southeast corner above the greenhouse and near the roof line is a carving of an open book and the motto Veritas means truth. And there's a three-story atrium of aluminum and glass and was added in 1984. My most favorite buildings on IU's campus is Memorial Hall, which was built in 1925. 
It was the first women's dormitory on campus and is collegiate Gothic style with turrets over the arch entry. An ornate IU seal and a carving of a sleeping student, Al, and a professor calling to him. A brass seal in the entry floor honors women in military service. A precautionary quotation from Sir Walter Scott near the entry doors reads, evil spirits cannot enter an inhabited house unless invited. I love this because this building's straight out of Harry Potter, right? Forms the south side of a tranquil quadrangle with Sycamore, Morrison, and Good Body Halls of the same style, but with little ornamentation. We have Ballantyne Hall, which was built in 1958 in an unadorned modern style. It's ornamented only by boss relief on the west side with the Latin inscription, can't even pronounce this, so forgive me. Veritas Filia Temporis, which is truth is the daughter of time. The lobbies of the lower floors contain banded white and green marble on the ground floor and gray, red, and green marble on the first floor and travertine on the second and third floor. Chemistry building is another really interesting building. It reflects its function. Shield's sporting elemental and alchemical symbols ring the original part of the collegiate Gothic style building, as does a band with a grapes and leaves motif. On the north side, rectangular pilasters extend up to the fourth story. A seven story rather austere addition was added in 1964. A 1987 addition retains many design elements of the original building, including the formula for the key ingredients for Crest toothpaste. Then we have Beck Chapel, which was built in 1957. I love this chapel so much. I even got married there. So it's a modified Tudor style chapel and is non-denominational and is often used for weddings, yes. The adjoining cemetery dates to the early 1800s and is not owned by IU. Several of the headstones in the cemetery are made of limestone. The largest stone near the northwest corner is inscribed with the page location of the deed as recorded in the Monroe County Courthouse. Then we have the Indiana Memorial Union, which was built in 1932. The largest student union building in the world under a single roof, the IMU is one of the most impressive buildings on campus. Collegiate Gothic style, it additions that were made in 1939, 1946, and 1960. Look for the University Seal, located in a high-pointed arch at the south entrance in the West Tower. Above the bookstore entrance, there is a high Gothic window and large stylized owl on top of the gable. Other features are scattered throughout the building. Concludes our tour, and I will see you next week.